All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel where I'm gonna teach you all the things about money that you wish you learned in school. This particular topic I wanna to talk to you about is all about one of the most important things of investing, which is invest and wait. Don't wait to invest, okay? Invest, then wait. Don't wait to invest, right? That's the lesson. There's a saying, time in the market is far better than timing the market. And people timing, it's human nature to try and time the market, right? Pick the bottom, okay? Whether it's in real estate or business or assets or shares, whatever it is you're investing in. And the trick is to not actually time it because I mean, it's impossible to time it because you don't know the future, right? It's uncertain. Even Warren Buffett, the greatest investor who ever lived, he, he, he can't time the market. He doesn't even try and time the market. What, recently last quarter, he spent $40 billion of his Berkshire Hathaway cash in his portfolio and he bought $40 billion worth of stocks. And he completely mistimed it because the, the market fell by like 15% after that. So he doesn't even try and time the market because here's what I want to explain why, okay? It's time in the market versus timing the market for sure, right? So time in the market is better than timing the market. Here's why. If you go back to 1965, almost 60 years ago, okay? If you go back that far in the S&P 500, which is the, the general broad-based stock market in the United States, okay? You'll find, interestingly, in that whole 60-year time frame, the market, the S&P 500, has only had a down year about six to 10 times, okay, in between that. It's roughly about six to 10 times. I don't know the exact, I looked this morning, but it's around about six to 10, okay? If you think about that, so every six to 10 years, there's a negative year. Right, the market might lose 6% or it might be down 10% or it might be down, some years it might be down 20%. But over that time frame, think about that. In 60 flipping years, there's only been really like six to 10 real drops, the value of your shares or your assets in that time frame. Probably largely the same for real estate too. Most of the time it's gone up, most of the time. In fact, uh, I did the calculations, 83% of the time, the value of your shares is going up. 83% of the time. Now, if you happen to start investing right before one of those down years, okay, then you're gonna think that I'm crazy. You're like, no way, I just started investing, I'm down already. You just missed, it's just, it, it, the next five years is gonna be up, okay? So statistically, 83% of the time, your, your, the value of your shares or your real estate is gonna grow. But unfortunately, 17% of the time, it's gonna go sideways or down, right? That's the data. I'm not making this up. If you go and check it out, the S&P 500 has pretty much gone up 83% of the time. Here's why. Because when you're buying shares, it's a business. Businesses go up over time when they start to innovate and sell more product and, and grow. So basically what happens if you're betting on the S&P 500, you're betting on America. If you're betting on an index fund in Australia, you're betting on Australia. You're betting on the country doing well over time, okay? And if you bet on the end of the world, even if you're right, you're not gonna make any money, so don't do that. Don't bet on the end of the world. Like, there's so many doomsdayers out there like, oh, the market's gonna dead, it's gonna, oh, we're gonna go through a depression. They've been saying that for 60 years, and the data, 60 years is like, uh-uh. <laughs> Humankind finds a way, right? Business finds a way. Now, the businesses that make up the market are always gonna change, right? There wasn't a Google or a Facebook or a, or a Microsoft, you know, 30 years ago, right? Maybe 35 years ago, certainly for Microsoft, but there's, there's, always, there's always changing in new businesses. Tesla was just like a dream 20 years ago, right? Now it's, it's way up there. Amazon the same, Apple was the same. You'll find that these, these companies are always changing, right? There's gonna be new companies, old ones dying, new ones coming, old ones dying. But the market itself, if you have an index fund, you're gonna find that but for the next 60 years, there's only gonna be a 17% of the time you're gonna be losing money. But it doesn't ever like fall back to where it was. It only falls back a little bit. So let's say for five or six years, it grows like this, okay? One of those years it goes down, it's just gonna drop to there. It doesn't drop all the way down to the bottom. Okay? That means that there's no businesses and they're all broke and you, well, the world's ended, okay? Now, I wouldn't bet on that. You're gonna fall a little bit. Then it's gonna go up for the next five or six years. Then they're gonna fall a little bit. Five, so at the end of the whole gambit, you're gonna have uh, your, your value of your portfolio is gonna be way more. But people aren't zooming out and looking at that. They're just like, vroom. oh my God, my portfolio is down the last last four days, it's down 5%, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna lose money, oh, I'm out. And they sell and they're out. That's not how you invest, that's timing the market. Just don't look at your portfolio if you're gonna suffer from those biases. So, the trick is, the same thing as how you how you plant trees, how you, how you grow a money tree, right? Which is what I talk about in this book. The same way you farm or plant trees or plant crop is the same way you invest. So when you plant a seed and you cover it, you don't go and dig it back up again, right? 
You, you don't go and dig it back up again. Someone doing some work in here. So we'll just keep rolling, right? So you're not gonna dig it back up again and then replant it and then dig it back up and replant it and then dig it back up and replant it. But what would happen? You wouldn't be able to grow a tree. That's what people are doing in their assets. That's what they're doing in their stocks, in their real estate. They're just wanting it too fast and they think their activity is the thing that's gonna get them there quicker. If you kept doing that with your farming, you're gonna starve. The idea is plant the seed, cover it with the soil, look after the soil, knowing that it's gonna germinate and grow over time. When the little shoot comes and you made a bit of money, don't sell it and just don't sell the tree. You gotta go replant another one. You just wanna keep it there and let the tree grow by itself by just nourishing it and nurturing it and letting it grow. What you really wanna do is once you plant a tree and it's growing, you wanna focus on planting more. Plant the same type of tree, another one, different one, different one, and just keep adding to your orchid, okay, over time. The way you do farming is pretty much the way you do investing. And if you treat it like that, you'll do so much better, okay? So remember, it's time in the market, not timing the market. You can't buy and sell things and expect the time that you can get it because most of the time, 83% of the time, you're gonna be growing anyway, all right? So let your asset do the heavy lifting for you. Stop trying to do all the work, all right? The beauty about investing is that you've got capital leverage, meaning that your capital is gonna do the work for you. Your money's gonna go out and it's gonna create more money, okay? Now that's good investing. If you're doing that, you're on the right track. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Ask me a question, leave a comment. Share this YouTube clip to someone who needs to hear it because this is exactly what we're trying to do here. We're trying to, we're on a mission to help people up their financial IQ and teach them all the things they wish they learned about money at school. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying it. Feel free to check out the links below in the description if you want to take your money to the next level. If not, see you in the next episode.